guys, this is proper game changing for the private hire industry. Um, definitely. So as you know, high court ruling, Uber had to make changes and um, it kind of has affected the private hire um, industry. And by the looks of it, I've just got an email from Ole. Uh, it's a very rare company the way sometimes you get work from them. <laughs> we do in Liverpool. But the interesting thing is I got an email off Ole and this is what it says. We are writing to give you notice of some changes that you'll see on your Ola Drive app from Monday. These changes are being made to comply with the December 2021 High Court ruling that private hire operators are requi required to contract contract directly with riders. So you got to blah, blah, blah. you got to accept the new terms, blah, blah, blah. So Ola will now be contracting directly with riders, which means that riders will now pay Ola directly for their rides, opposed to you as drivers. And then obviously, nothing's changed in that sense, but it's just the legality of it. But what's a massive thing is, is what they're saying is, um, passengers need to pay the operator, and then the operator pays the driver. So with the app-based stuff, it's kind of just, a technicality just adjust the way it's with the way it's done but what about local firms what about like um like obviously local firms that you, you, you literally you go out you pick up a passenger they pay cash and then you pay the operator a weekly settle or a commission if this high court ruling is is bleeding through the private hire industry as in Ola has now done it does that mean the local operators now have to follow suit? Um, obviously, I think acnes and taxis are different. Um, they're like their own operator, aren't they, the way, it's, the way it is through the council. Um, but private hire, I don't know. Is this going to be... How would they do it? How would, a lo how would a local firm take a payment off a passenger and then pay the driver? If it's cash, it won't be possible, will it? I can't even think. The only way, the only way the local firm's going to do it, if they have to do it, is they're going to have to go app based as well. So, as an example, I know Alpha. Alpha's got a great app and a great system, but the issue is a lot of Alpha's work is still cash. The old ladies, the pensioners, going to the food shop and all that, they still all cash. Um, so it'll be a very interesting. I don't know if this this ruling has got a like a time frame or something like that. I don't know. I'm not very up on the legal stuff. So if anyone in the comments know anything different, I'd love to hear because I love it. Obviously, learning new information and stuff like that. Uh, but that's very interesting. The fact that Ole weren't even in the court. The court high ruling was between Uber and the uh, the other guys. So the fact that Ola's come out and said this now, it must mean something, must not it? It must mean that the private hire game has to be changed. Now, I don't know what it means. Don't know what it means for local firms, guys. Any ideas? Let me know in the comment, kids. Let me know, because um, it's very, very interesting. And it's through a big spanner in the works, hasn't it, that high court ruling. Um, so, do the local firms have to follow suit? Or is Ola just being preemptive? Let me know in the comments, guys. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments and um, I'll, I'll have a little discussion with you. But yeah, very, very interesting. It's going to be a very interesting year next year. See if these all get enforced, do you know what I mean? But um, that's it, guys. Just wanted to have a little chat about that, really. I will catch you soon. Bye-bye. Make sure you like, subscribe and all that jazz.